Today we're going to be talking about water. Water on the outside of your home, like when it rains, and water on the inside of your home, like in the bathroom or when you take a shower. We're going to talk about what happens to it and where does it go. you what happens to the water that we use inside of our homes and that could be anything from the water we use to brush our teeth to doing our laundry okay or taking a shower so I'm gonna pour this cup of water into the sink and inside of the sink you see we have these little green and pink pieces of paper and those are gonna symbolize anything we use whether that's food waste or the shampoo we wash off of our hairs so let's see what happens to what happens to that pour the water and all of that is gonna go down the drain. Down the drain into the sewer pipe. This sewer is going to carry that water into a water treatment facility. Pour now, just like that. You know what's also going to go to the water treatment facility? All of that stuff we talked about, right? The shampoo, the food waste. All right. And now that we have that there in the water treatment facility, that gets filtered out. The water gets cleaned. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to clean it. All right, I'm good to go. Now I'm going to take that water and that water is gonna go down another sewer pipe. Take a look. Is that water carrying any of the little green and pink paper? No, right? It's all clean. That's what the water treatment facility is in charge of doing, making sure that that water that's gonna end up in the ocean that the water that came out of the water treatment facility was nice and clean. It didn't have any of the shampoo or food waste that we had talked about that we saw go down the sink. So now let's see the water that's going through the uh, sewage pipes to the ocean, how that looks. Nice and clean. Alright, so you guys just learned on how water moves from inside our house through the water treatment facility and out into the ocean. But now we're going to see how water moves in our city streets. So, in our city streets we have a lot of different types of trash. So we got things like our coffee cups, pizza boxes, soda rings, just some, you know, some basic trash that you'll find around our city. Pretty basic, basic stuff. It's not just trash that ends up in our city streets. It's also other things like motor oil, uh, dog waste. So all of these things ends up in our city streets and you can see it pollute everywhere. And then once it rains, all of this becomes runoff. So we're gonna go ahead and start adding in some water to simulate when it rains in our city. All right. So all of this gets carried from our gutter into our catch basin. And from our catch basin, all of this water and runoff is going to go into our storm drain. And then from our storm drain, it leads into our Los Angeles River. And because there's nothing to filter out all of this runoff or clean or treat the water, all of this polluted water ends up making its way straight into our ocean. Hi everyone. In our community forest, we get most of our rain during the spring and then no rain all during the summer. 
when it does rain, most of our water ends up in our city streets. Let me show you what I mean. Rain hits the roof, travels down the downspout onto the concrete driveway and into the street. When people use our hoses to wash their cars, the water is also sent into the streets. So where else does water come from? Sprinklers! When water flows onto sidewalks, the driveways, and into the streets, it often goes into the gutter to a catch basin at the end of the street. This is where it catches a lot of the trash and other land pollution that's on our sidewalks and streets such as oil from the cars, fertilizers, dog waste, and more. These all send our water straight to the ocean. What most people don't know is that in Los Angeles, 3.8 billion gallons of rainwater ends up in the ocean every single time it rains an inch. That's a lot of wasted water. Tune in next time for our presentation on where Los Angeles gets its water, what pressures our important water sources are under, and what local solutions are available to make LA's water future more resilient. This includes a home assessment tool to map your own site.